Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, indeed, as I tune around uh, in the past couple of hours with the Kiwi SDR and um, Anchorage, Alaska, uh, what comes out when you look at the spectrum, the full spectrum, is that, so let's put it like this, there is here and there um, a changing frequency. And it obviously is just looking at how strong it is and the frequencies that they're using and a strong carrier like this, um, it's definitely harp. So earlier in the video, when I talked about how you could use, you know, a Kiwi SDR, like the one in Anchorage, Alaska or any other, it was obvious that I was hearing harp on 4,500 kilohertz. Um, as of now, it seems to be on 5250, and that's at 0107 UTC. Um, let's do a little experiment here. I'm going to go back, and let's go and check out the Lamont, Alberta. Coronation, I want to check out Lamont, Alberta V6JY, which has very good receivers. And let's try 5250 here. So it's interesting. It's not receiving the carrier here. Let's try it at another spot. Let's try it closer to uh, Walt Salmanu. Is this one here that we can try in uh, British Columbia? Let's see if 5250 is there. Let's check it out here. It doesn't, doesn't seem to get anything on there, too. This is kind of interesting. Um, is it propagation? Let's try something else. Let's try now 5250 in daytime doesn't propagate very far away. So maybe that could be one of the major reasons where only very close am I hearing it. Uh, cause this is a very low frequency. So it's like trying to get, if you look at the distance, Montreal to Ottawa here would be this small. And you're asking for very, a much, much uh, larger path for 5250. So, and it's in the daytime, low frequencies daytime are not good in propagation. So I would guess that it's possible that it's simply that the only one receiving such a low frequency at this time is the Anchorage, Alaska. I'll be, uh, of course, experimenting more. Now, uh, oh, 5250 is moved. It's now at, from what do we see here, something like, fifty four fifty. Okay, so let's go back. It moved to 50, from 5250 to 5450. Let's try, uh, once again, let's try the same ones. Although they're a little far away. Let's try the British Columbia 5450. Uh, that one has the best chances for 5450. Let's try it. But yeah, I think that's what we see there. 5450. Yeah, that's the carrier's weaker here. But it's there. Like F S9. So that definitely is harp. And there's no question that that is harp. And that uh, is what we're receiving here. So it's going through British Columbia S9, S9 plus 10. It's so kind of cool. So we can, uh, you can use these Kiwi SDRs to definitely uh, pin down what frequency they're being on right now as we speak. And of course, try them on your radios. I would not expect 5450 to make it to Montreal. There's too much daylight path from Alaska to Montreal. But if they do use higher frequencies, that could be something. And, I mean, they're going on tonight until the wee hours of the morning. So, 
I'm definitely going to try it. And if I do get a carrier here, I will definitely post a video on it. So uh, this is the fun of chasing harp on its different frequencies. Uh, let's try... I will try V6JY, even though that one is further away, which makes it more difficult for 5450. Uh, let's check out 5450. Fifty four fifty seems to have a lot of static crashes on the impression that maybe uh maybe the uh and there's no 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 carrier really. Seems to be uh a difficult one there. Maybe a lot of uh, static crashes. So definitely the best one is Anchorage right now. That uh depending on the time and the frequencies. So basically you just chase for what a very strong carrier can pop up on the range, on the frequency ranges. Expand it to like the full range. Uh, here we go from about 3, 4 to 9 megahertz. And spot very strong carriers. And chances are you're going to be looking at something that is definitely... Uh, harp. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.